Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. I just want to miss them. I want to miss them so much. That father is talking about his two young children. It's hard. I'm mad I'm weak. They drowned at FGCU's Lakefront Beach. And I love them. And I'm so, so sorry that this happened. Two of his kids. I love you. Seven-year-old J.J. Walker. I need you so And 12-year-old Gabby Walker went into the water. And he was in the water and he was having a good time. And didn't make it out. He was a good boy. He was a good boy. It is so hard hearing that father speak through the pain. Absolutely mm -hmm. heartbreaking. He had to fight back tears as he talked about the last time he saw two of his children. Thanks for counting on us tonight. I'm Kyla Gaylor. And I'm Brenna Weig. It's tough to listen to, but an important reminder. The grieving father is only sharing his story with NBC2. Gage Goulding is taking us through the devastating moment he tried to save his drowning children. It's hard. I'm not, I'm weak. You never want to lose your kids. Reliving what happened here on this beach on Monday isn't easy for Jamel Walker. Fighting back tears, he told me his family is in town from Atlanta. They're visiting his great aunt for the holiday. And on the 4th of July, they came here to FGCU's Lakefront Beach to cool off and celebrate. When I got there, they took off to the water. And then they was in the water and they was having a good time. His 12-year-old daughter, Gabby, and 7-year-old son, JJ, are inseparable. Not even water could get between them. She was holding him. She had him all on top of her head. Jamel was sitting on this bench watching his children play. Then, all of a sudden, he saw what looked like Gabby waving to him from the water. But what she was really doing was calling for help. So I jumped in the water to try to save her. But when I jumped in the water, she went under. He swam out but couldn't find them. What he did find was a steep drop-off, which he thinks Gabby fell from and couldn't swim back. I was willing to die to try to find her. Search and rescue crews scoured the area for hours. Jamel and his other son watching from the shore. It took a long, long time to find her. Finally, they found JJ and Gabby. JJ didn't make it, and Gabby was clinging to life. They said it was complications, and she didn't make it. These flowers now lay on the beach as a memorial, where the brother and sister died together. He was a good boy. He was a good boy, and Gabby was a good girl. She was good, straight A's. Jamel already had to bury the mother of his kids, and now he's going through that pain all over again. And I love them, and I'm so, so sorry that this happened. Reporting in Estero, Gage Golding, NBC2. This is not the first time someone drowned in the lake there. Back in 2011, a student named Joel Johnson passed away. After a late night swim with classmates, he told his friends he could swim, but they say once he got into deeper water, he panicked and went under. 911, what is your emergency? Hi, we're at FGCU and there's someone drowning right now. Okay, has anybody got him out of the water yet? No, we can't find him. He's under like, there's a big trampoline and everyone's saying that he's underneath there. The lake was closed for nine months after that tragedy. When it reopened, the trampolines were removed and a rope was put in place to make sure no one can go deeper than six feet.